Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW. It's Saturday morning, I'm enjoying a cup of tea and uh, I'm going through some of the replays last night. This is a highlight match from last night's live stream. So if you want to see it with the full um, video and audio from the division as we played, go across and have a look at that one. But uh, I'm very grateful to a friend of mine for providing me with the means to acquire the tier six premium British destroyer, the Cossack. And and, uh, he acquired it himself so we went out in double Cossacks to cause murder and mayhem amongst the red team and this does turn into a really fun match and there was a lot of laughter while we were doing it um, we spawn on Seacap and uh, we are the only two destroyers in the match, but there is a carrier. So um, we, we're going to push the cap. We're going to push the cap. We're going to play aggressive. Um, the carrier's out there to be able to support the rest of the team, um, you know, potentially on a cap. And uh, we are going to push C hard. And the plan is to take C, then push through to B. And if we're successful there, then we'll continue the push across the map to a cap. Now you'll notice from the start that uh, everybody on B cap sees that the destroyers are across on C and they decide to completely abandon it and these guys um, spend most of the time sailing around in a giant circle around B cap. Um, I don't want to say they don't contribute a lot to the game because the Ismail does pick up um, three kills as he goes along. Um, but yeah, if they'd have just sort of held position for a little while, we were um, we were all ready to rush in here, take this, and then push out and help them. But um, it's difficult to communicate in this game, and 90% of people pay no attention to requests or commands anyway. So uh, we decide that we're just going to get out here and get the job done. Now we see that there's a Leander out here, there's the Andrea Doria, and there's a Synop, which um, potentially means that we haven't got a Destroyer out here, but uh, I imagine that Red Team's Carrier will soon be looking for us. We do put the Torpedoes out there as the Synop pushes through. We have a Colorado behind us, um, who does a great job of providing some backup and he doesn't sit back either he pushes forward um, that was really refreshing to see and he does turn out to be extremely helpful but chin and i have both got torpedoes running on this synop and uh, it's not going to be a great start of the game for him because not only does he take a couple of torpedoes from chin he takes a couple from me and then we get on the guns and uh, we light this guy on fire there we go so he is burning he's already fixed his floods the colorado gets a good hit in on him and i think the colorado does pick up that kill for the uh, synop but we don't mind we don't mind it could have been a first blood for one of us but the colorado gets it our attention is straight on to the andrea doria we're going guns on him to get burns on him I think he's going to push and run, try and get the cap with secondaries. Um, he's got to turn at some point because um, if he wants to get us, he's going to have to give some broadside to the Colorado. Chin gets his torpedoes out. I'm holding mine. We get another fire. He takes torpedoes. But as this guy turns into the cap trying to run Chin down, we're both staying on the guns. I get my torpedoes out. And we are looking at this guy thinking, you are absolutely shafted, mate. Um, but there we go. We are, what, three minutes and 15 seconds into the game. And Red Team have lost two battleships. The Leander is still sat out there on a smoke screen. But we are going to leave him for the Colorado. Because his smoke screen doesn't last forever. And that Colorado is, um, you know, he turned out to be a very good player. Very on the ball. And not afraid to push. 
as you can see at the south end of CCAP, those other two battleships that started on um, BCAP have finally made their way around the corner and they are going to start pushing down. Chin and I, meanwhile, we are spotted by aeroplanes. We are going to be harassed by this guy who, thankfully, misses me with those bombs. And we're going to continue our push across to B cap. There is a cruiser out here. He is contesting this cap, which means that there is an unsighted enemy. And uh, as you can see from the um, perceptive indicator, it's a destroyer and he's out there in front of me. And I do remark at how floaty these shells are. Um, they seem to hang a long time in the air, but we do start getting the eye in and landing some shots. We knock out the Yukikaze's engine in just a second, which means that he's going to slow down. There we go. And you'll see that I very quickly adjust my gun sight. And uh, I think he's going to try and smoke up, but smoke is not going to save you, buddy, because we are turning in, expecting the torpedoes to come in. We get a fire on him, and uh, given that he's already fixed his engine, that's going to be fatal. And, uh, well, if that wasn't fatal, those last uh, salvo of shells were. But I take shots from my right flank, and I'm like, what the hell's over there? Oh, it's an AOBA. Now, I'm looking at him, and I'm thinking, do we need to chase him? Do we need to be worried about him? Um, and then I realize that there's actually three battleships on that side of the map, so no, we don't need to be worried about him. We are going to drop detection now. Um, the AOBA is the closest targets, um, as shown by the um, perceptive indicator. So we're just going to sit and hang tight. The uh, AOBA disappears, and I think that might have been the uh, Ismail. So um, he does a good job of getting rid of him bit of a pinata the japanese cruisers and when you've got an ismail with all those guns you're not going to last long once you're spotted but we secure b cap we see we've got air kid and air war spite they're on b cap and uh, we don't care about the carrier at this point we're thinking there's two more ships out here um we can run these guys to ground and it was again very refreshing to see that when that kid was spotted ships were focusing it they were getting fire onto it um you know you see a destroyer again i've proved it in some of the battleship videos that i've done that you can you can really do damage to destroyers you don't have to be point blank range um, you can hit them at range you've just got to know how to lead them chin is onto this kid the carrier has him spotted and i'm saying to chin have you got that guy i'm like yeah why am i even asking the question of course you've got that guy so we have two caps secure the battleships are still pushing around to b cap um, there's the carrier and the war spite left this game has been an absolute charge of the cossacks with thundering hooves and rattling sabers chin has his torpedoes out at the war spite i'm just watching my um detection range wanting to stay just outside of it i have a smoke available chin gets his tops out and is going to connect with two my torpedoes are running the waspite has fixed his flood and uh, really once that hits there's nothing he can do but we absolutely trolley him off the map we have lost one ship the carrier is spotted by three battleships and is well in range chin and i decide to turn and push for the cap but we aren't even gonna have a chance to get anywhere near it because um, we are barely eight minutes into this game and red team have disappeared back to port that is how fast and furious a game can be when you've got a coordinated team behind you unsurprisingly chin and i finish one and two on the board and even though i have three kills i am only 20 base xp above chin so a very nice result for the two of us with four kills between us 
I really hope that you have had fun watching that one. Um, it was certainly a fun game to play. And uh, again, I'm very grateful of Chin for helping me acquire that Cossack. So please do, before you go, hit the like button, um, leave me a comment under the video. And if you haven't already done so, please do hit that subscribe button. It all makes a difference. Until next time, take care and goodbye.